Here we shall discuss some problems based on geometric series. The first question is given the geometric progression 2, 4, 8, 16 etc. Find S5 using formula. So we have uh, already seen that Sn is equal to A into 1 minus R raised to N by 1 minus R. So here A represents the first term and uh, R represents the common ratio. So when you are looking at the given geometric progression, the first term is 2. So from here we get A is equal to 2. To find the common ratio R, divide the second term by the first term. So the second term is 4. So when you divide it with the first term 2, you will get Now, one more thing, you need n. So, here in the question, you are asked to find S5. So, n will be 5. So, these are the three things needed to calculate the value of S5. Substituting these values in this equation. So, we will get S and S5. So, S5 equal to a is uh, 2 into 1 minus r is again 2 n raised to n is 2 raised to 5 by 1 minus 2. So this will be equal to 2 into 1 minus 2 raised to 5. 2 raised to 5 is uh, 32 by 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So this will be 2 into 1 minus 32, 1 minus 32 is minus 31 by minus 1. So here you will get 2 into minus 31 which is minus 62 by minus 1. So minus 62 by minus 1 will be 62. So we got the value of uh, S5. So you can write therefore S5 is equal to 62. Now we shall move on to our next question. One by two plus one by four plus one by eight plus etc. One by two raised to n. So here you are given a series. First of all, you have to check whether this is a geometric series or not. So the first term is uh, 1 by 2, second term is 1 by 4, third term is 1 by 8, so on. To check whether the series is a geometric series, what you have to do is, you have to divide the second term by the first term. Second term A2 by first term A1. And you have to divide the third term by the second term. You have to find a3 by a2. Both of If both of them are equal, we can say that it is a geometric series. If, they, if both of them are not equal, then we can say it is not a geometric series. So a2 by a1, a2 means we'll find a2 by a1 first. So a2 by a1 will be a2 is a 1 by 4 by a1. A1 is 1 by 2. So you are dividing 1 by 4 with 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 instead of dividing 1 by 4 with 1 by 2 you can multiply with the reciprocal of 1 by 2. 1 by 2 reciprocal is 2 by 1. So here you will get uh, 2 and 4 you can cancel. You will get 2. So in the numerator you will have 1, denominator you will have 2 into 1 which is 2. Now again we will find a3 by a2, a3 by a2. So a3 is the third term which is 1 by 8 by a2 is the second term 1 by 4. So you are dividing 1 by 8 with 1 by 4. So instead of dividing you can 
multiply with the reciprocal of 1 by 4 which is 4 by 1. So here also you can cancel 4 and 8 so you'll get 2 so the answer will be 1 by 2. So now you can see that both these ratios a2 by a1 is 1 by 2 a3 by a2 is also 1 by 2. So you can say that this is a geometric series. Now you have to find when you look at this sum 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus etc 1 by 2 raised to n. You have to find the sum of the first n terms that means you have to find Sn. So you know that the formula for Sn is a into 1 minus r raised to n by 1 minus r. Now we shall look at the terms required for this. A, A means the first term. So A is the first term which is 1 by 2. R, R is A2 by A1, second term by first term. We have already found that and we have calculated a2 by a1 to be 1 by 2. So you'll get r is equal to 1 by 2. n is n itself because you need the sum of the first n terms. So substituting these values here back in this equation, so you'll get sn is equal to a. a is 1 by 2 into 1 minus r is also 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 the whole raised to n by 1 minus r is 1 by 2. So this is a 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2 raised to n which is 1 raised to n by 2 raised to n whole divided by 1 minus 1 by 2. Now how do you calculate 1 minus 1 by 2? Now to calculate 1 minus 1 by 2 the process is simple put 1 as 1 by 1 because 1 by 1 is 1 minus 1 by 2. So you just cross multiply this 1 into 2. So you'll get 2 minus 1 into 1. 1 into 1 is 1 by 1 into 2. So you'll get 2. So in the numerator you have 2 minus 1 and 2 minus 1 is 1 by so substituting the value of uh, 1 minus 1 by 2 equal to 1 by 2 in this equation in the formula here. So you'll get this is by 1 by 2. You can see that you have a 1 by 2 here in the denominator. You have a 1 by 2 here in the numerator. So you can delete both. So when you delete both, what is left is 1 minus 1 by 2 raised to n. So you will get Sn is equal to Sn that means you'll get 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus etc plus 1 by 2 raised to n equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 raised to n. Now we shall move on to the next question. We are given the series 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 by 2 plus etc. You got to find S6 and S infinity. S infinity means the entire sum of the series, sum of the infinite terms of the series. The rule for Sn is A into 1 minus R raised to N by 1 minus R. So we will have to find A, R and N. So A means the first term of the series which is 4 r means the second term by the first term. Second term is 2 by first term is 4. So you can cancel with 2. So when you cancel with 2 you will get 2. So you will get 1 by 2. Now n is given here. You have to find s6 that means n is equal to 6. So substituting the values of a, r and n here in this equation you will get s6 is equal to a. a is 4 into 1 minus r raised to 
R means 1 by 2 raised to n. n is 6 by in the denominator you have 1 minus R. That means 1 minus R is 1 by 2. So this is equal to 4 into 1 minus 1 by 2 the whole raised to 6 is 1 raised to 6 by 2 raised to 6 whole divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 you have we have seen that 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 so I put the value here so this is equal to 4 into 1 minus 1 raised to 6 1 raised to 6 is 1 itself by 2 raised to 6 2 multiplied 6 times so you'll get 64 whole divided by 1 by 2. Here we have 1 minus 1 by 64. We will calculate the value of that. 1 minus 1 by 64. As I told you, you can put 1 as 1 by 1 and just cross multiply. So this is 1 into 1, sorry, 1 into 64, which is 64, minus 1 into 1, which is 1 by 1 into 64 which is 64. So in the numerator you have 64 minus 1, 64 minus 1 is 63 by 64. So we'll replace the value of this here. So you'll get uh, this is 4 into 1 minus 1 by 64 is 63 by 64 by 1 by 2. So instead of Dividing by 1 by 2, we will multiply with the reciprocal of 1 by 2, which is 2 by 1. So here, you can see that you can delete 4 and uh, 64. So you will get 16 here. Again, you can delete, you can cancel 2 and 16 here. So you will get 8. So the answer will be 63 by 8. Here we have finished finding S6. So you got the value of S6 as 63 by S6. You got it as 63 by 8. Now you have to find one more thing. You have to find S infinity. The rule for finding S infinity is A by 1 minus r provided the value of r is in between minus 1 and 1 that means minus 1 less than r less than 1. Now we have seen that r is 1 by 2 which lies in between minus 1 and plus 1. So we will use this formula to find s infinity so this is equal to a. a is 4 by 1 minus r is 1 by 2. So you will get this is equal to 4 by 1 minus 1 by 2. We have seen earlier that 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2. So you have to divide 4 with 1 by 2. For that you can multiply 4 with the reciprocal of 1 by 2. Reciprocal of 1 by 2 is 2 by 1. So this is equal to 8 by 1 which is 8. The next question we are given a series here 1 plus 2 by 3 plus 4 by 9 plus 8 by 27 plus etc. You have to find S5 and S infinity. So first of all you have to check whether this is a geometric series or not. So for that we have to find A2 by A1 and A3 by A2 and you have to check whether this are same. So A2 means the second term which is 2 by 3 by A1 means 1. So you got to divide 2 by 3 with 1. So 2 by 3 divided by 1. Any number divided by 1 is the number itself. So you get 2 by 3. A3 is the third term which is 4 by 9 by A2 second term 2 by 3. So you have to divide 4 by 9 with 2 by 3. 
So instead of dividing 4 by 9 with 2 by 3, you can multiply 4 by 9 with the reciprocal of 2 by 3, which is 3 by 2. So here you can cancel this 2 with 4. So we'll get uh, 2 here and cancel this 3 with 9. So we'll get 3 here. So we'll get what is left on the numerator is 2 and what is left on the denominator is 3. So we'll get 2 by 3. So both of them are equal, both the ratios a2 by a1 as well as a3 by a2 are equal. So we can say that this is a geometric series. Now first we have to find S5. We know that Sn is equal to a into 1 minus r raised to n by 1 minus r. So a is the first term, a is the first term which is 1, r is the, r is second term by first term, you have already found that a2 by a1 which is 2 by 3, n, you have to find s5, so n will be 5. So substituting these values here, you will get s5 is equal to sn, that means s5 is equal to a is 1 into 1 minus 2 by 3, r is 2 by 3, the whole raised to n is 5 by 1 minus r, r is 2 by 3. So here you will get 1 into 1 minus 2 by 3, the whole raised to 5, is 2 raised to 5 by 3 raised to 5. So you will get 1 minus 2 raised to 5 by 3 raised to 5, whole divided by 1 minus 2 by 3. We will check the value of 1 minus 2 by 3. 1 minus 2 by 3. I told you 1, you can put it as 1 by 1 and cross multiply. So here you will get 1 into 3 which is 3 minus 2 into 1. 2 into 1 is 2 by 1 into 3. 1 into 3 is 3. So here you will get 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1 by 3. So putting the value of of uh, 1 minus 2 by 3 as 1 by 3 here you will get 1 minus 2 by 3 replaced with its value 1 by 3. So this is equal to 1 into 1 minus 2 raised to 5 is 32 by 3 raised to 5. 3 raised to 5 is uh, 3 multiplied 5 times, so we'll get 243 by 1 by 3. So this is equal to, now you have here 1 minus 32 by 243, we'll find that 1 minus 32 by 243. So as before you will write 1 by 1 as 1 by 1. So when you cross multiply, you'll get 243 minus 1 into 32 is 32 by 1 into 243 is 243. So this is equal to 243 minus 32. So you'll get 211 by 243. Substituting the value of uh, this back in here, you will get 1 into 1 minus 32 by 243 is 211 by 243. You are dividing with 1 by 3. Instead of that, you can multiply with the reciprocal of 1 by 3, which is 3 by 1. Now here, 3 and 243 will cancel to give you 81 here. So we'll get the answer as 211 by 81. So this is S5. Now you have to find S infinity. The rule for S infinity is A by 1 minus R provided the value of R should be in between minus 1 and 1. 
that means minus 1 less than r less than 1. So here r is 2 by 3. 2 by 3 is clearly in between minus 1 and 1. So you can just substitute the value. a is 1 by 1 minus r. r is 2 by 3. So you will get 1 by 1 minus 2 by 3. We have seen earlier here that 1 minus 2 by 3 is 1 by 3. So substituting the value back here, 1 by 3. So here you are dividing 1 with 1 by 3. So instead you can multiply 1 with the reciprocal of 1 by 3 which is 3 by 1. So here you will get 3.